His family says the arrest of the man who may have led the attack, that's a start. But several others were also involved in the beating that killed a Grand Rapids man last week. Investigators say 34-year-old Frederick Jewell was killed during a fight inside of a Grand Rapids gas station. 13 on your side reporter Phil Dawson is here now with what the family says happened. Nick, early last Friday morning, his mother and sister say Frederick Jewell and a cousin stopped to get gas at the BP station on the corner of Holland Division in Grand Rapids. Jewell went into prepay, and they say he was attacked, robbed, and beaten by a group of men in the store. They beat him with a gun first, then stabbed my child in the head. He was killed in that store. Everyone that was involved with that, that laid a hand on that man, should be convicted of this crime. So far, 23-year-old Tahari Lamont Greg Braggs. I know of his family. Is the only person charged with beating 34-year-old Frederick Jewell to death at a Grand Rapids gas station, but his family says others were involved. I understand they got the main one, but they was all on my son. How many do you think were involved? We was told what? four or five, so they all need to be accountable for what they did to my son. They all had a part. No one tried to break it up. No one even tried to stop. The clerk says the altercation that killed Frederick Jewell happened near the cash register in clear view of store surveillance camera. And all the individuals that was caught on that gas station tape should be prosecuted. His family says Jewell had gone inside to prepay for gas and for still unconfirmed reasons, he was attacked, and he died of his injuries three days later. Car was parked at the pump. He was getting gas. He was and getting going gas. Home. I know my brother. He don't pick with nobody. He don't go looking for trouble at all. Whatever the cause was, it was not worth his life. His family says Jewel was about to be released from parole. He'd been in prison for selling drugs, but they say he had a job and was looking forward to the birth of a son in July. Police have not said anything about the possible motive for his murder at the gas station. Nick? Phil, thank you. In case you missed